Oh my god, I'm having such a horrible time filming this. It's like, I just can't get myself together tonight. Okay, I have got to stop enjoying fruity beverages before I film because it fucks my lipstick all up and I was not aware whatsoever. Get it together, girl. <laughs> Okay, so if you have not already seen my inside the dressing room, my toured inside the dressing room that I just put up like an hour ago, I highly suggest that you go back and watch that because this is not going to be a try on haul. Why? Because most of the items that you see here, I will have already tried on. So to me, it seems a bit redundant to go ahead and try them on again. And also, let me be real, it is, what time is it? It's 11.56. She's not a night owl, okay? This is about the time when I'd be settling in or have, you know, maybe I would have already been asleep for an hour. So I do not, <laughs> if you don't make videos or if you don't do try on hauls, you may not understand like the effort and just the time <laughs> that it takes to try on all the clothes and then splice them into your videos. It's just a lot and I'm not, I'm not feeling it tonight. I'm not. <laughs> And so, therefore, this is not gonna be a try on. By the way, hey Ben, I know you're watching. Hi, enjoy. <laughs> Ben's my BFF. So yeah, let's just jump right into this, shall we? So, Torrid is right now, currently, today. Well, by the time you see this, it'll be tomorrow. But I think it's still going on. They are having a buy one, get two free sale on clearance items. Put it in the bag, put it in the bag. That is unheard of. Like, I've never seen them do that at Torrid. I've heard them, I've heard that they do it in like faraway lands, nowhere close to me, but they, they're doing that now and it's crazy. Like, if you need clothes or if you have a little money to spare and you wanna stock up on things, go ahead, go do it. I, I really highly suggest, I mean, three for the price of one, you just can't beat that. The bargain shopper in me, is very very excited for this the stuff you're gonna see is the result of two separate trips so one trip i did like almost a week ago to the day the second trip i did like today i also have one item from lovesick and <laughs> that is because i'm too lazy to do like because i don't plan to actually try these on I'm too lazy to like get a thumbnail picture so I already had a picture of myself in this lovesick dress that I want to use for the thumbnail. Rather than take new pictures I would I just decided to add I just decided to add that dress so that it wouldn't be like a total misrepresentation of the video. But my laziness knows no bounds okay. I'm just gonna start with the first lovesick item because that's like literally the only lovesick thing that I have to show. So the first thing that I have is a <laughs> dress. It's the one you saw in the thumbnail. It looks like this. It's a bodycon. Um, it's a size one. This and another dress that looks just like this but a different pattern are is the first item that I ever purchased from Lovesick. Like the first thing I ever bought. And I guess I should have known to size up because it's a new brand, it's a Junior's Plus. I should have known better, okay? So I guess I deserve this. This shit's too small. I can get into it, but it's not a comfortable fit. I haven't worn this out anywhere because mm, it's just not good. It's it's too small. I should have gotten a size two. I got my regular Torrid size because everyone said, oh, Torrid's got the same sizing as Lovesick. Oh my God, we've got a new brand. It's got the same sizing. Untrue, okay? Untrue. I've even seen um, a few like plus size bloggers claim that um, Lovesick and Torrid share sizing. Untrue, okay? Um, some things at Lovesick are true to size, but other things are not. It really is hit or miss. This thing is just way too tight, and I'm, I'm so sad because I stalked this dress for months. Like, I wanted it so bad, and then when I got it, I was so disappointed. I have another one that looks just like it that I'll show at another time. It's red, and it is even tighter. So, like, it's the same dress, but it fits. Like, like it's like, I can't, I can't wear that one out. This one, I maybe have a prayer of maybe wearing it somewhere. But that red dress, not at this weight, like, uh-uh. I can't, I can't do it. It's much too tight. These were, I 
think they were like $39 each, but then I had, it was some kind of coupon, buy one, get half off, I don't know, something like that. So I didn't pay quite full price for them. So that's that. And now for the Torrid stuff. So like I said, Torrid's having buy one, get two free. And I didn't see like a whole lot of shit that I liked. And I consider that a good thing because it kept me from going like totally overboard. I went in there just to browse, but let's be real. I really need to stop lying to myself that I'm actually going to browse when like it never ever happens. But yeah, buy two, get one free. Like, I'm sorry buy one get two free so you saw the inside so if you saw the inside of the dressing room you saw that i tried these things on but i did not reveal really the things that i purchased i think there was one item that it was like yep i'm definitely getting that but for the most part i didn't reveal the things that i purchased so you could probably tell like you know if i really didn't like something obviously i didn't buy it so the first thing that i have is this once again she is totally unprepared to start a video hold on Okay, so the first thing that I have is this like leopard print tunic. You saw it in the inside of the dressing room if you watched it. If not, it's very long. It's got like an A-line, I guess A-line? A-line cut that's really super flattering. It's almost long enough to be a dress. Now, I'm not that like risque <laughs> to be wearing like really short dresses, but honestly, I feel like if, you know, you could probably get away with it, a pair of tights. I'm probably gonna wear this with leggings. Um, probably black leggings because like, I'm gonna be red, I don't know. Ooh, red, that look nice, yeah. Um, but yeah, it sort of flares out at the bottom. It's a really thin material and so I'm thinking that because of that it'll transition well into um, like spring and summer. The regular price of it was $44.90 and then the clearance price was $37.98 and I know that this is one of the items that I did pay for so because it was like one of the more expensive ones so yeah it was one that I did pay for so the next thing that I have yes you did see it in the inside the dressing room there was no doubt that I was going to purchase this it is this um, green plaid camp shirt and it is so lovely it's so great on like I said in the video it does bag in the waist a little bit it looks like this. I mean, there's not too much to show really. Like, it's just a, you know, button down. It's very, very, very flattering. I really like the way it looks. This is a size one. It was $38.98, but maybe this is the one I paid for because now I can't count. I don't know. But anyway, it was $38.98. Um, very cute, comes with two extra buttons that I always foolishly throw away. Usually the camp shirts are not actual flannel material and so they're like a little more lightweight a little more breathable if you're getting actual flannel pack it away like if especially if you live in the south because it's gonna it's getting much too warm to wear like real flannel this is just like a printed printed uh, button down and it's really cute i really enjoy this the next item that i have is um Something that was not in my inside the dressing room because I didn't try it on because I knew it would fit because it's my size and Also, it's something that I just saw like at the very end when I was like doing my final once over to make sure I didn't miss anything, but it is this um, Fringe, okay, it's kind of like that same camp shirt, but it is a kimono It's weird. So it has sleeves like you know how kimonos have those loosey-goosey sleeves not this so it has sleeves as though it is a regular button down but it's not it's actually a fringe kimono i'll put it on okay so like it's a legit kimono i mean and it's really cute it has the fringe i saw this um <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I saw this on, this was in their last catalog, the catalog tour had put out. The uh, Georgina was wearing it with like this long maxi dress and like a denim jacket and it looks really cool but I'm not trying to buy any of that other shit. <laughs> so I really like this. It's very lightweight and so I feel like it'll tra transfer? Transition! Ugh, it's late guys. Bear with me. I feel like it will um, really transition into the summer because it is so lightweight and easy breezy and flowy and I really like it. I think I said that this is a size one. Um, 
the price of this. Now this is something that was not even marked as clearance. Like it was just in the section and I was like, ooh. So I took it up to the front and it ended up being clearance. The original price is $48.50 and I got it for $27, although I think it was definitely a free item, so I got it for free. The next item that I have is that plaid shirt that I was like gushing over in my, <laughs> inside the dressing room. It's the same shirt as this. Like basically these are the same. Um, so if you've seen this one, you've seen this one, it's just a different fabric. Again, I'm sorry, a different pattern. Size one and regular price, $48.90. I paid, I think this is one I paid for. I paid $48, I'm sorry, $43.98. So original price $48.98, it was marked $43.98. Sidebar, in my opinion, Torrid's clearance section is like a almighty joke because they don't always have buy one, get two free, or even buy one, get one free. So it's like, if I'm going to the clearance, looking through the racks on a regular day, and I come across this shirt marked $43.98 that was originally $48.90, I would be like, what the, do y'all know what clearance means? Do y'all have any idea? Because this is like, it's like just over 10% off. Like, how is that clearance? Towards clearance section is still expensive. Like that's why like, I don't even shop in there really unless it's like, like unless something is deeply discounted like $9.99 or it's like, you know, buy one, get one, or buy two, get two, or buy one, get two, or something like that, because otherwise it's just still, it's still not worth it. I mean, $43.98 is still more money than I'm willing to pay for this. So the next item that I have is the, um, this little mesh or eyelet skirt that I showed. Like I said, this is a size one, so it was marked $22.97, originally $44.90. Now, I may have paid $22.97, you know, it doesn't seem like such a terrible price. It's got a red tag on it. Although, again, towards red and, and green tags don't really seem to mean anything. Like, usually when you see a red tag, you think you're about to get like a really good deal, but at Torrid it means nothing. So the real cool thing about this is it has like these little shorts in the inside um, to prevent the chub rub. Very cute. I am really excited to like wear this with some outfits. It's a thicker material, but it'll definitely trans... Why can't I get this right? It'll definitely translate well. Is that even the word I was trying to use? Transition! Oh my god, girl, girl, get it together. It'll definitely transition well into the um, spring and fall because it's see-through. I mean, sorry, it's not see-through, it's mesh. It's breathable. You got some ventilation in here. So, you know, I could, I could easily wear this in the summertime, and I plan to. The next item is this mock neck top. And it looks like this. You saw it in the inside the dressing room. If you haven't watched it, pause this video and watch it now. This runs really small because usually a size two sweater up towards bags on me. It's supposed to be a crop sweater, but it, on me because I got a two, it's a regular length sweater. Uh, really cute. If it's cold enough, I might wear this tomorrow. Originally, this was $68.90. Like, A $70 sweater, Torrid? That's a lot even for you. And it's on sale for $39.99. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> so I really like this. I'm gonna try to wear it at least once before the weather turns and it just gets, you know, it just gets too hot. So the next item that I have is a, um, it's those space dye leggings. They look like this. These are a size zero, which, I mean, I can get them on, you know, I can pour myself into them, but I'm, I'm gonna wait until I lose a few more pounds to try and wear this, simply because, like, toward leggings are not all, of, all that sturdy to begin with, and so I don't wanna further distress the, the fabric. So I'm probably gonna put these in the back of the closet until, you know, I come down a little bit because I really wanted these. I looked for them everywhere. They were always, they were always, um, where's my mind? They were always sold out, sold out on the website, never could find them in store, and so they just popped up randomly, and I had to get them. I mean, I can wear them, but I, not comfortably. <laughs> so I had to get these. These were marked $7.99 down from $32.50. 
put it in the bag. So the next four items that I have are not items that you saw inside the dressing room because one was purchased in a trip when I wasn't filming um, and the other two were items that I picked up as I was leaving the store and didn't, you know, didn't feel that I needed to try on. So, the next thing I have is, it is a, okay, what is it called? Black Mineral Wash Laser Cut Football Top. That's a mouthful. It is the exact same wash as those mineral wash jeggings that I had on in my inside the dressing room video. In fact, I was thinking like if I put them on together it could look like it was a set. Like that's kind of cute. It's got like a little bit of, I guess this is the laser cut they're talking about. It's got a little mesh, not mesh, I don't know, crochet detail. This is a size 2 and this is another item that I feel runs a little small because size 2 tops again are always a little big on me. And so if a size 2 fits comfortably on me, then I know that the, you know, it runs small. This is something that I've been looking at on the website for a little while, but I just never like, I don't know. I just never wanted to pull the trigger. So seeing it in the store, I was like, okay, you know, I can go with this. I can get with this now. I like how it looks, you know, faded and, and you know, lived in already. When it inevitably degrades in the wash, then, you know, it'll just look like it's a part of it, so. The regular price of this was $38.90. I got it for free, but it's marked down to $28.98. Put it in the bag. So the next item that I have is a pair of pants, and they are the Slim Fix Crop Tie-Dye Pants. So they look like this. When I first saw them, I thought that they were activewear. And I was gonna, you know, pass them up because I don't really like to wear nice clothes to the gym. <laughs> I'm weird. But they're not active wear. They look like it because of this print. Like, this definitely looks like, you know, a lot of the active wear that's out now. But it's not. It is a, it's just like the regular, like if you're familiar with Tordner, they have like their all nighter, their slim fix. It's just a regular pair of slim fix pants, but in a tie-dye pattern. These pants are a beast, okay? These are, I mean, all nighter is right because they are thick, they are stretchy, they have this huge waistband. Like this is, like all this is the waistband. It's really sturdy and kind of stiff. I wear shapewear a lot, but I don't want to wear it all the time. With something like this, you don't need to wear any shapewear because they got you. It also has this like smoothing panel up front, which is, you know, it just works to kind of smooth you out, you know, in the tummy. It's stretchy. <laughs> these don't quit. I'm actually really excited about these because they were only, well, they were marked $14.99, originally $54.50. So this is one of the pants that I got for free, but originally, $54 pants that I got for free and had I not gotten them for free they would have been only $14.99 Had I seen these for $14.99 I would have bought them. These are a size 1. They can really be dressed up or down. In fact I have an outfit like mentally planned already and I'm really excited to see it in motion. So the next item I have is um, an item that again was purchased in the trip where I didn't film. It's a skirt and it looks like this. And it's one of those button-down A-line skirts that we're all seeing everywhere now. It's a corduroy fabric, so probably not going to tr transition too well. Why am I having so much problem with that word? <laughs> it's probably not going to transition too well into the summer because, you know, corduroy is a freaking hot fabric. But I was glad that I saw this. I don't know the regular price of this. I'm not sure. Probably in the $40 range. But this was marked at $21. I got another thing for $9.99 and then another thing for $21. So all in all, I ended up paying, in that trip, I ended up paying like $26 for three items and that's like tax included in everything. Really cute. I really like this. I think I said this is a size 14. It fits really snug, but it doesn't move. Like it doesn't ride up, which is one thing I was afraid of. This last thing is a dress. It looks like this. This is doing nothing for you, but it has a sweetheart neckline. It just flares out. It's got a whole lot of volume. Really cute. The regular price of this was 
$64.50. It was marked down to $9.99. Put it in the bag. Yeah, that is a steal and a deal, okay? $10, and it's not like, it doesn't look like it was marked down a whole bunch either. There's one tag on it, so, like it's $9.99. It looks like it went straight from $64.50 to $9.99. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened there. This is a size 12. Now, I'm gonna be real. I haven't worn anybody size 12 in quite some time. <laughs> I can, usually do a 14 in torrid dresses that's like my the size that i get to you know have everything fit right but a 12 is really really pushing it okay really pushing it i can wear this dress i can get it on it was kind of a struggle to get out of it but i can get it on and it looks it looks fine it's just very tight in the waist so kind of uncomfortable but i feel like 10 pounds should take care of that because it's only a size too small it's not like really small but for $9.99 I just couldn't leave it sitting in the store so this is called the Daisy black poplin sundress like I said regular price $64.50 and I got it for free but I mean had I not I would have only paid $9.99 for it and you know I would have snapped it up at that price anyway that's all I've got for this haul um, I guess I can just go ahead and haul what I'm wearing as well this shirt this is a, uh, this is a, ugh, why am I blanking? This is a um, Rebel for Torrid top. Um, it's just a t-shirt. It was like, I bought it when they had buy one, get one free like months ago. I can just stand up and let you see, I guess. Looks like this, just a plain V-neck. It's quite big. This is a size two. And so now you can kind of see what I mean when I say like size two is usually big because this comes down like to mid thigh and it's just really big and flowy 